When Hurricane Michael hit our area in 2018, it didn't just cause widespread damage to buildings and landscape. It also damaged the ability of many residents, especially children, to cope with mental trauma. As News 13's Jared Sellers tells us, those are the circumstances that inspired the creation of the Generational Trauma Conference. The Northwest Florida Health Network is a nonprofit that is contracted with the state to provide children protection, substance abuse, and mental health services to panhandle children, adults, and families. After Hurricane Michael, the agency's staff saw a huge increase in mental health problems. We noticed that the needs of the community were not just hurricane relief related in regards to housing, that there were issues related to trauma, that not only the trauma of the individual's life currently, but the linkage to generational trauma. In response, NWF Health began the Generational Trauma Conference. It provides attendees with knowledge about generational trauma, how to recognize it, and strategies for diffusing it. The first one occurred in 2019 at Mosley High School. After a break from COVID, they're back this week with Gentricon 2024 at the FSU Panama City campus. They discuss the latest health statistics, which are still alarming. In 2022, there were 850 cases of child abuse per every 100,000 people. Franklin County reported the highest rate at 2,000 cases. Northwest Florida Health Network speaks for those children. If that child cannot speak up for themselves, that you're doing it for them, making sure that, that child is safe. Attendees also heard the stories of child abuse victims. I was born in Uganda in a small little village called Kabale. Grew up poor, but also grew up in a very, very abusive family. Uh, at the age of 10, I couldn't take it anymore, so I decided to run away and became a street kid. So from the age of 10 to 15, uh, I was a street kid until I met a stranger who didn't know who I was. I was trying to steal from him, but instead of seeing a thief, he saw someone with potential. And he said, I want to help this kid. The program also focuses on the need for more people to become social workers. We are offering uh, scholarships for uh, those attendees to Gentricon 2024 that uh, meets our admissions requirements at the bachelor's degree at level or at the master's degree level. If they can get accepted at Florida State University, Panama City, we have scholarship dollars. There is no set amount for the scholarships. In Panama City, Jared Sellers, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If you see someone who is being abused, you should call 850-264-6713 or call your local law enforcement agency.